corrosion. Corrosion is when a refined metal is naturally converted to a more stable form, such as its oxide, hydroxide, or sulfide state. This leads to deterioration of the material. Causes of corrosion when the metal react with another substance such as oxygen, hydrogen, and electrical current, or even dust and bacteria. Corrosion can also happen when metals like steel are placed under too much stress, causing the material to crack. For example, corrosion of iron. The most common types of iron corrosion occur when it is exposed to oxygen and the presence of water, which creates a red iron oxide commonly called rust. Rust also affects iron a lot, such as steel. The rusting of iron can also occur when iron reacts with chloride in an oxygen deprived environment, while green rust, which is another type of corrosion, can be formed directly from metallic iron or iron hydroxide. There are four types of corrosion. First, galvanic corrosion. Galvanic corrosion is the degradation of one metal near a joint or juncture that occurs when two electrochemically dissimilar metals are in electrical contact in an electrolytic environment. Second, pitting corrosion. Pitting is one of the most destructive types of corrosion as it can be hard to predict, detect and characterize. Pitting is a localized form of corrosion in which either a local anodic point or more commonly a cathodic point forms a small corrosion cell with the surrounding normal surface. Third, stress corrosion cracking. Stress corrosion cracking, SCC, is a result of the combination of tensile stress and a corrosive environment, often at elevated temperatures. Stress corrosion may result from external stress such as actual tensile loads on the metal or expansion or contraction due to rapid temperature change. Four, aqueous corrosion. Aqueous corrosion is an electrochemical reaction of materials due to a wet environment, resulting in the deterioration of the material and its vital properties. In aqueous corrosion, the reaction rate depends on material's ion concentration, electrolyte reactivity, ambient air pressure, other reactive materials, bacteria, temperature, applied electric field. Fifth, Uniform Corrosion Uniform Corrosion is considered an even attack across the surface of a material and is the most common types of corrosion. It is also the most benign as the extent of the attack is relatively easily judged and the resulting impact on material performance is fairly easily evaluated due to an ability to consistently reproduce and test the phenomenon. This type of corrosion typically occurs over relatively large areas of a material surface. Okay, now I will talk about the advantages of corrosion. Firstly, Corrosion can be a layer of protection because a layer of oxide forms on the corrosion prone surface which prevents corrosion of the inner metal. Secondly, have zinc sacrificial anode that are used as a corrosion preventive measure for other metal. Lastly, Volcanic corrosion preventive because when two different types of metal are in electrical contact in an electrolyte, the more active metal tends to corrode. Next, I will share about the disadvantages of corrosion. Firstly, corrosion can make metal loss from the surface. Secondly, make a metal object physical appearance change. Third, corrosion can make a metal chemical characteristic vary. Lastly, corrosion make metal things have a shorter lifespan. I will present to you a few cases and disasters that were caused by corrosions. On August 40, 2018, a 656 foot sections of Morandi Bridge in Jonia, Italy collapsed, killing 43 people. The Italian engineering experts have heavy suspicion that corrosion to the bridge stick levels contributed to the collapse, saying that it decreased the bridge overall strength by 20%. The platform weighing several tons was connected to the underside of the bridge, which could have also caused the bridge stress. Additionally, Antonio Benches, an engineering professor at the University of Genoa, declared that the Morandi Bridge is a failure of engineering due to its construction constructions of pre-stressed concrete rather than steel. A solution has been proposed by the Italian government to prevent future collapse. Other than the Morandi Bridge in Italy, there are also a few cases that happened in Newbury and also in Salama Pera, Malaysia. How to prevent corrosion? 1. Use an alloy. The use of alloys like stainless steel is one of the most common ways to prevent corrosion or slow it. Second, apply oil. A coating of oil will help to prevent corrosion or slow it down. However, an oily surface might be problematic for some tools or machines and pose environmental and human health concerns. Third, apply a dry coating. Special rust preventative products dry with no residue and form a protective barrier over metal parts and equipment. These are effective for products in use in shipping, storage, and more. Four, paint the metal. A good quality paint will slow down rusting by preventing moisture from reaching the metal. Five, store properly. Store metal parts of products in a low moisture area or inside a temperature and humidity control environment to see the paint slow down rust. In conclusion, corrosion will uh, corrosion the surface of the metal is opposed to air and water at the same time. 
uh, it will cause the durability of the metal uh, to decrease as well as the reputation of perform of the metal. Corrosion can be prevented by controlling uh, the ventilation of the area. In addition, the rusting of iron can be overcome by the planting progress using coppers and silver.